Monsters Book 4 Beats on Bigfoot Chapter 1 Starting Line Well, the vegan vampire pushed off the top of Cliff Hanger Hill. He felt the wind in his face as he jumped backwards off the ramp. Spun a 360 in the air and landed facing forward, a perfect Caballero. Hey Val, come look at this, called Mumford. Val glanced at his young mummy friend, Mumford, as he caught some big air. He waved and grinned, signaling to his fellow extreme monster that he'd be over in a minute. Mumford waved back. He knew that most skateboarders wouldn't have heard him from across the Monster Valley Extreme Sports Park. But Val was half vampire, and his pointed ears were unusually sensitive. Mumford watched in awe as Val finished his run, leaping off ramps and executing an astounding series of crabs, grinds, and spins. He knew Val's apparent ease was the result of long hours of practice. But when Val skateboarded, he made it look like magic. Mumford guessed this was a star quality the press was always talking about. When Val reached the bottom of Cliffhanger Hill, he kicked turned his board and wheeled over to see what Mumford was excited about. Val does look like a star, thought Mumford. The exercise size had made the bluish undertones of his normally pale skin turn indigo. Val's eyes glowed red, and his spiky hair stood up in purple points as he removed his helmet. The cool thing was that Val didn't act like a superstar. He was nice to everybody. What's up? Val called as he strolled over. Manfred pointed to the bright poster next to the wall, where he practiced speed climbing. There's going to be an up, down, and dirty extreme sports relay race. Should be awesome, said Manfred excitedly. Most of us will get to use our specialties and work as a team. There's climbing and dirt biking, even rollerblading. Manfred looked puzzled and something called downhill mountain boarding. Whatever that is, a mountain board's like a cross between a snowboard and a mountain bike, said a new voice. Val and Mumford turned around as Steiner coasted his BMX to a stop beside them. Even slouched on the seat of his bike, the green-skinned boy looked big and tough. His hands and feet were huge, his head was square, and his helmet almost covered the scar slashed across his forehead. Steiner's dark eyes were warm and gentle. The wheels on a mountain board are airfield like bike tires, but they're way smaller, see it now. And the bindings are like a snowboard's, except they're designed to let you dismount at will. But Steiner's right. The large tires and added suspension system make a mountain board perfect for all-terrain riding. Where'd all this come from? Steiner cocked an eyebrow, and the scar across his forehead wrinkled. That's going to be a point-to-point -point re late race, Manfred explained. Up and down a mountain a few hours north of here, one leg of the race is BMX. This'll be fun. Val glanced from the bandage round Mummy to the catchy poster. He hated to disappoint Mumford, but as team leader, he felt responsible for the well-being of his teammates. That's the race Jamie Christopher is sponsoring, Val said. And you know what that means? 
It means that pompous jerk Christopher is putting up the prize money, dude, said Wolf, as he slid to a stop by his inline skates. And there's nobody I'd rather take money away from than that, creep. If we win, Steiner cut in. The young werewolf brushed his fluffy brown hair out of his eyes and frowned at Steiner, clearly puzzled. Dude, why wouldn't we? Hey guys, called a voice above them. I just heard that Team Pinned is registered for the Up, Down, and Dirty Extreme Sports Relay race. They looked up. Jinx, the green-skinned young witch, was hovering overhand on her broomstick. Her pet bat Bela peered down at them from the wide brim of her pointed hat. How do you know? Wolf was getting ready to argue. I talked to some of the other loochers, that's how. Jinx rolled her eyes. She had just finished her last run on the street luge track, lying on her back on a tiny sled and sliding feet first downhill. After practice, she had flown across the park to tell her teammates the news. You know Damon encourages his team to cheat. More like he requires it, Steiner added with a snort. Damon is crooked and he's also cheap. There's no way he would put up prize money unless he could practically guarantee his team would win. Also, there's a rumor that Damon owns the land the race is being held on. Jinx continued as she descended slowly towards the ground. So that gives Team Pendant plenty of time and opportunity to set up all sorts of cheats. Maybe even dangerous traps. So... Wolf argued. Since we know that, we'll know what to watch out for. Imagine the look on Damon's face when we cross the finish line and leave Team Pendant in the dust. <laughs> so you think we should enter the race? Val asked as they started to head home. Mumford had wrapped one of his sticky bandages tentacle-like around the seat post of Steiner's BMX. As usual, the mummy skits behind Steiner on his skateboard. Jinx had magicked away her broom and pulled on inline skates so she could skate beside Wolf and argue more easily. As a half vampire, Val could have thrown the short distance in seconds. But skateboarding was more fun, and he enjoyed the company of his earthbound friends. That race is going to be a blast, Wolf puffed as they started up a steep hill. Admit it, he scowled at his teammates as if to challenge them. When they reached the top and began their downhill run, Val said, Look, I agree that the relay race sounds like fun, but Damon is using this event to get publicity for himself, his team, and that awful sports gear his company makes. I'd hate to do anything that would add to his profits. How would it add to his profits if we win? Love argued. Look, we can win this. Mumford can climb the first segment. Then you do the mountain board. Okay, I admit mountain boarding would be wild. Said Val, but Steiner bikes. I blade. Wolf continued, and Jinx can ride a kayak on wheels down a dry ditch. Jinx queried crassly. Of all Damon's dumb ideas, that takes the prize. How am I supposed to steer the thing or stop it? Where'd he get the crazy idea of putting wheels on a kayak? Van Green, you know what pendant products are like. Their kayaks probably leaked, so he added wheels instead. Steiner laughed. A diamond so cheap, he made up this whole scheme just to get some use out of them. Jinx glared at her friends, but though she tried, she couldn't help laughing. The whole thing seemed ridiculous. The group chanted pleasantly as they strolled over to Mr. Cool's ice cream and beet juice parlor.
The tired and sweaty teammates are looking forward to cold snacks and a blast of air conditioning. Mumford detached one of his bandages and tied Steiner's bike to the lamppost. Val shoved open the door and led his friends into the red and white interior. From behind the counter, an abominable snowman with shaggy white hair covering his whole body shot in a grin. The usual, Mr. Cool asked the crew. The usual, they chorused back. Cool, you're looking like a haystack, said Val. I thought you were getting a spring crew cr cut last weekend. Yeah, I was supposed to, he said, reaching into the frozen barrel. But I got real busy. He passed a double scoop count of monster mash to Steiner. Jinx got Wizard Blizzard in a cup. Cool handed Wolf a big bite bar and Mumford a fruit flurry. What's a problem with your order, Val? He said. Handing the health conscious vegetarian a bottle of sweet beet sparkling beet juice. They've changed the formula. New and improved. Val read from the banner on the bottle. How could they improve on perfection? He took a big, thirsty gulp and nearly spit the drink out on the white tile floor. Ack! He sputtered. What did they do to this stuff?